We're following power outages right now this hour. Rocky Mountain Power is reporting over 2,300 outages across northern Utah. Officials tell us many so far have been caused by the wind already this evening. Even before those outages, Rocky Mountain Power crews were getting ready for tonight. Let's check in now with Fox 13 Spencer Joseph. And Spencer, what have crews been doing today? Well, one of the things they've definitely been doing right now is if behind me you can see uh, this whole area, including that intersection right there, is without power here in Fruit Heights, just north of Farmington. Uh, the wind here not maybe quite as bad as it was in Farmington, but about 2,000 homes just in this area uh, have, within the last about half an hour, gone without power. Uh, Rocky Mountain Power crews are responding according to the outage map, but as you say, they are are prepared to make sure uh, that outages like this are taken care of. So we are seeing a couple more across the Wasatch Front with these uh, heavy wind conditions, including uh, in this area along 89 down into Farmington. But we did talk with Rocky Mountain Power today about how they stage their crews in order to deal with this. We'll have more on that coming up at 930. But for now, live in Fruit Heights, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah. All right, Spencer, you as well. Be safe out there. Salt Lake City's sustainability department Department is reminding any residents with trash pickup tomorrow, Wednesday, to just wait on placing your containers out until 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Otherwise, the wind might create an even bigger mess for you in your neighborhood. Wind is just one of the many weather conditions that can be challenging for truck drivers. Last September, an 18-wheeler tipped over during the windstorm in Farmington. You're seeing file video of that event right there. Then in November, high winds tipped over two semis near Cedar City. The executive director of the Utah Trucking Association says they are always making sure drivers know the road conditions. In the trucking business, the last thing we want is to have to be uh, stalled, stopped, or, or engaged in an accident. So every effort is made to avoid those things uh, because the, the risk and the expense is is just horrific so so it's our in our best interest to make sure that we're well educated uh, as it comes to storms and traffic events class b says wind can also be a big factor depending on the type of truck someone is driving and a reminder to all drivers it's important to give tractor trailers plenty of room on the road good advice certainly keeping safety in mind if you do happen though to capture any photos or video of wind damage overnight or tomorrow morning Fox 13 would love to see it. Please send your pictures and video to news at fox13now.com.